Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. This video is sponsored in part by Violent Mind, the first volume in the Animal in Man series by Joseph Asfani. Maxon, a cunning fox, stalks the Lioran capital city of Crosswall as a shadow, a lone operative for the city guard who must never be seen or heard and never engage with the enemy. But when he's caught in an explosion that levels a city block, the fox ignores his mission and retrieves a dangerous artifact that could bring the whole planet of Herbridia to its knees. The Relay, a weapon that turns civilized animals into savage beasts. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey kids, welcome back to the zoo. This is Jack as usual. If uh, you know this is your first time on my channel, I want to thank you for for showing up. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Either way, I hope you like what you're about to see. What we're doing in this episode is we're going to do something I haven't done in this zoo before, and that's we're going to make a combined habitat with the red-crowned crane as part of our, our bird group. And then we're going to uh, combine that with the Japanese macaque uh, from the primates. It is, in fact, the only primate that we're adding in this zoo. And I'm going to put them together in a single habitat. Now, we're going to do that in this space here, right here. Um, and as you notice, it's snowing again, so my color blindness is really helping out here. But it's going to be in this general area here. And... Uh, <clears throat> You know, I think it's going to work out just fine. But first, let's uh, let's do some actual uh, maintenance play. We do have VIPs. Okay, I've already talked to all the VIPs I can for the day. I did record another uh, session earlier this morning, so that's where we got all the VIPs. Let's check the notifications. Okay, uh, we're about to. Okay, we have a baby Bactrian camel. That's very cool. There he is. Uh, the clouded leopards are fighting. Okay, well, let's look at the clouded leopards. Yeah, they're definitely fighting. I hear them. Where are they? Oh, there. There they are. Okay, so let's pause this for a second. Now, if I remember correctly, this was a baby. The baby grew up, obviously, and is now fighting. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to send old uh, Hulang here to the trade center and see if anybody wants to buy him from us. Now our adult, um, yeah, these guys uh, got set up to trade earlier, so I'm going to try it again. Clouded leopards, clouded, clouded, clouded leopards. There we go. And we're going to see about... He's got some pretty good stats. Or she does, rather. There we go. Now, our adults are getting a little long on the tooth, so we may have to replace them soon. Uh, let's see what else. Um, let's see... We've had baby snow, uh, another set of baby snow leopards. Yep, there they are. Whoops, hello. My zoom function went crazy on me. Yeah, and they're right outside. Mom's sleeping. Makes sense. Uh, we got a report that the Eurasian lynx are fighting. Let's look at what's going on here. Okay, Eurasian lynx. Yeah, and I can absolutely guess. Now this, we have one gold uh, Eurasian lynx, so we're going to send old Igor there to the Trade Center. 
Um, <clears throat> but young Valeria, on the other hand, is just going to get released to the wild. All right. Well, let's let that go so it actually happens. Let's uh, go back to the trade center and. Uh, As you can see, we got a lot of animals in storage. Eurasian lynx, Eurasian lynx. Here we go, Eurasian lynx. Okay, and let's see if we can't get somebody to trade for him. He's not that bad, so let's try for 350. Okay, I think that's all the maintenance work we need to get done here. So let me pause this for just a second. There is a couple of things I want to do. One of the things I want to do. 8, 8, 8, 8, bring it up to 8, there we go, is we're going to start the path around this direction. Yes, I am speaking in time, we're laying down the path. Okay, now let's see. <clears throat> okay, uh, how many red crown cranes do I have? Okay, there's the red crown cranes. I got four of them. Do I have any Japanese maca? I don't believe I do, so I may have to uh, invest in a few. Yeah, I don't have any. Okay, so red crown cranes, I got four. Um, let's check the Japanese macaques. Yes. Okay, how many do I need? I need at least eight. 17 males to 30. Okay, so for every male, I need two females. I need eight of them. Wait, that doesn't work. Hold on. Yeah, no, it does. It does. Two females for every male, and I need eight total. So I'm going to end up getting nine. And if I can't get the nine of them, then I'll just hold off adding them to the habitat until I will build. What, what I'll do if I can't get uh, nine Japanese macaques is that I will build um, with the intention of this habitat eventually having nine Japanese macaques. Okay, we got a male. I hate it when it takes long. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll build the habitat as if I have nine Japanese macaques in there already. But of course, I'll add them later. And then two females. And at this point, I'm just taking whatever female shows up. Okay, that's one male and two. And here we go, delay again. One male, two females. I, what I'm looking for is three males and six females. Why does this always take so long? Okay. And that's uh, our second male. And then... Okay. Here's our third male. Whoops. So let's check storage. No, I've got to have more than that. I did purchase. Where are my other animals? Where the hell are my other animals? 
mean, you guys saw me do that, right? You saw me purchase the animals? Okay. Can you... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And what I need is one more male and two more females. I had them. What, what, what just occurred? Why did it, why did my previous purchases not show up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need two more females. What the hell happened there? Okay, you know what? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. But let's, let's figure some things out. Okay. Eight Japanese macaques need at least uh, 340 square meters of room. They need 345, so what I want is to give them about, uh, um, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give them a thousand. But I'm not going to give it to them in a single one chunk design. What I want is to do this. I may give them more than a thousand. Yeah, it's definitely going to be more than a thousand, but, you know. About like that. How's that look, guys? Uh, okay, so anyway, I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go start the time lapse. I will see you on the other side. I hope this works out. It's going to be a little complicated, more complicated than I expected it would be, but uh, you know what? That's what makes this game fun. I, 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 you know, one of the reasons why I love this game so much is you have to figure it out. You have to work, you know, you, you have to work it. So yeah, um, I'll be back shortly. You know, uh, enjoy this, the, the time-lapse portion and, uh, you know, we'll talk on the other side.
This build actually uh, posed some challenges that I didn't anticipate. I mean, for one thing, I didn't realize that those stone uh, tree pieces were climbable. But uh, <laughs> there went the monkeys right up the right up the side of the stone tree. Thing is, they're not climbing the front ones. I don't know what the difference was. I mean, I solved the problem. It wasn't that great a problem, but it was irritating. Also, uh, as I began to build this and put in all the amusement, uh, you know, the enrichment, amusement, all the enrichment pieces, I thought crowding. Plus, I had to put in a couple of shelters. I thought it would be too crowded, but the animals are just fine with it. So in the end, I'm happy, even though I did have some problems. So if you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you hit the like button, it helps me in the algorithm, and I can always use more subscribers. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my episodes. Next episode is going to be a challenge. I'm putting in king penguins, and I want to include a, uh, a, a below-water viewing point. So we're going to see how that works out. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I uh, I do. I really do. I appreciate I appreciate all the time and and F, you know energy you spend watching my content. Like I said, next episode King Penguins. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Let's work to do the world's in trouble You gotta build a zoo